Hi everyone, welcome to this video on value of information analysis and health technology assessment. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the expected value of perfect information curve and the cost effectiveness acceptability frontier. So a common visual in value of information analysis that we'll go and see is where we have our expected value of perfect information plotted on our vertical axis and our willingness to pay threshold along our horizontal axis. Now, in our first video, we just saw that this was a straight line. But often we'll see that sometimes we'll have a kink there. So in particular, we want to go and address the following question. Why is there a kink there? The answer to that question lies in the computation of our expected value of perfect information curve. We'll see a change at this threshold value lambda due to this change in strategy, right, which results a switch in treatment, which occurs through this expected value without perfect information curve, where we're just going and choosing based on best response that we'll go and have here. So this term, the second term in our expected value of perfect information uh, calculation can go and be the main source of switch that we go and have here. And that is really what's going and driving it there. Knowing that we could have just ended the video uh, right then and there, noting that we have this switch that goes and occurs through this expected value without perfect information uh, calculation. Let's go and try relating this back to something more familiar, that being the cost effectiveness acceptability curves that we go and we have here. In this case, we plotted three curves um, just to go and illustrate what is to come. What do these curves go and mean though? The cost effectiveness acceptability curve communicates the proportion of our probabilistic sensitivity analysis, which is deemed cost effective, conditional on our willingness to pay threshold lambda. But if we're a risk neutral decision maker, which is implicit in our modeling, we seek to choose the treatment with the highest expected value. So how do we go and preserve this without going and getting rid of this detail of the proportion of cost effective scenarios? Enter this new concept known as the cost effectiveness acceptability frontier. The CF communicates which treatment has the highest expected value and its corresponding probability of cost effectiveness that we go and have here. And we'll notice that it too goes and has a kink that we go and have here. Because again, along this line, we're going and choosing the treatment that goes and has the highest expected value. And when that value goes and changes, we'll go and follow another line there. Plotting these two pictures next to each other, we note that the same kink that we go and we have along this CF and along this expected value of perfect information curve they're going to be in the same spot here and that's primarily due to this change in best response which occurs through this expected value without perfect information again the second term of our expected value of perfect information uh, calculation that we go and have what this cf goes and communicates is what is the best response that we go and have and what is the proportion of cost effective scenarios, I like to go and say that there is a belief of cost effectiveness here. While our expected value of perfect information that we go and have here is this value of model improvement conditional on our willingness to pay. So the one thing that you should be going and walking out of this video is that these kinks are going to be at the same point on the curve and that kink occurs through this change in best response without perfect information. So I hope this video goes and helps. Take care.